Ooh, look at that. 73 defense. Pretty huge. And 68 strength just a bit after. Almost 92 combat as well. Actually huge. 70 tasks and I get 60 points for that. So I have 150 points. So I can actually skip tasks if I get shitty ones now. But Ankus is pretty nice. Easiest 12 points of my life. Oh shit, that's hot, dude. That's that's great. I'm gonna do that hard clue. Okay, there we go. Let's open the hard clue and let's see what we get. Oh, Guthix Dragonhide. Okay, that's 264k clue. That's not actually bad at all. Got an Iron Dragon task, but I don't actually have that many charges left on my trident and I need to charge it because I want to use magic on that task, but I only have 200k cash. So this is going to be the time where I sell my Slayer tab. Obviously, I'm not high Slayer or anything, so it's not that impressive. But this should be quite a lot of money and I'm going to sell everything and I'll get back to you guys with how much I got from this. Okay, well that was worth way more than I expected. 2.6 mil, that's a really good amount of money. Now I have 2.9 mil almost and I'm going to charge my trident and do the Iron Dragon task. Now, as someone who does a lot of Slayer, it's kind of a shame that I don't have the imbued Slayer helmet, but the thing is, I've never actually done the Nightmare Zone, and my quest points are, like, terrible. Like, look at this, I have 54 quest points. But I'm going to try this and see how it goes. I want to see how long it's going to take me to get like 1.2 million points or whatever you need for this. Maybe it's going to take a while because I have like the shittiest setup ever for this. But I'll just tr see how long it takes and try to learn all of this. And uh, let's see how it goes. Actually, you know what? I did one try on the hard one and I did one on the easy one. And Jesus, I have the worst monsters unlocked. And I can't actually customize anything really because you need at least five of them. And look, I have the dragon, which is... that's fine. But then the Dagonoth Mother is actually so painful. Tree Spirit is okay. Tanglefoot is really annoying because you have to use that magic secateur to be able to kill it. So overall, this is like terrible, the combo. And I only have these five, so I need to do more quests before I can actually do the Nightmare Zone at all. I actually got a medium clue from a Dagonoth task and, you know, there is a chance of getting the Ranger Boots, which are like 46 mil right now, so I thought, hey, at least there is that small chance of getting it, so it's not useless to do medium clues, so let's see what we get. And we get... Oh, Narda teleports! At least it's 43k for a medium, that's okay, I guess. So I looked up what quests are good for Nightmare Zone, and Vampire Slayer was one of them, and... I mean, it's a 3 minute quest, so of course I'm going to do it. Also, 3 quest points, so that's really neat, I don't know why I haven't done this before. And another quest that is really good for Nightmare Zone is Mountain Daughters. I completed that and now that I have seven overall creatures in the Nightmare Zone I can fight, I'm going to try and pick the ones that I think are the best because I think I should be able to do it now. If not, if, if it's way too annoying still, I'm going to do another quest, but I'm going to get back there and see what I can do. Okay, look at this. I literally cannot do anything. Like, I do no damage at all. And I take a lot of damage, and I think it's the tree spirit who's just draining my prayer completely. I'm just gonna die here. Like, what is going on with my stats as well? I think the tree spirit is just so shitty to uh, fight against. So I need to do another quest to get that tree spirit away. But other than that, I think I'm fine. Maybe I can try again with the tangle root enabled instead of the uh, tree spirit. But I'll have to see. So what I primarily had a problem with was Elvarg actually, because he does a lot of magic damage. All the other things are doing melee damage and I can just pray that. But I think that it's time for me to get a tentacle, uh, crack and tentacle for my whip, because I am 75 attack now. And that is going to do quite a difference if I try to do Nightmare Zone. So here we go. Yes. I want to make the tentacle whip. There we go. I have the tentacle whip now. And I also changed my setup a bit to more dehydes because, as I said, magic damage is the primary damage dealer on me because I'm just praying melee, really. So I'm going to focus on killing Elvarg far first. And also I brought some super combat potions that I didn't have before. So I'm going to try again and see if it works better this time. So it's definitely better now and I can get some points, but these Tanglefoots are absolutely way too annoying. So there is a quest called, I think, In Search of Meyer Q or something like that, which is a really easy quest and I should have all the requirements for it already, which makes it possible for me to remove these Tanglefoots. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to leave the Nightmare Zone right here after I just kill these, and then I'm going to do that quest.
And that is the in search of the Meyer Q or Meyer Key. I, honestly, I have no idea how you would pronounce this, but that's the quest done, two quest points. And I also unlocked like a skeleton dog or whatever it is, which is purely melee, super easy to kill. And that's going to be great for the Nightmare Zone. Okay, well, now I have the tree spirits, the skeletal hellhound, the Kendall or whatever it's called, and what is the other one I have? The Dracula one and one more, I can't remember all the ones, but I have only melee ones now. So I don't have Elvarg I have to deal with, not the Tanglefoot, and not the other one that I don't remember which one I blocked. Oh, the Dagonoth one. So I only have good melee AFK ones I can do now, and I bought some overloads as well, which is really, really good. And I just have some prayer pots, and I can just stand like this and AFK. So I'm going to show you guys how much experience I have in, for example, attack now. Seven, I'm level 75, actually pretty close to 69 strength as well. But uh, yeah, these are my levels right now. 75 attack with 55,000 experience to 76. And now I'm going to just get back to you guys. When I have 1.2 million points, or I think it's 1,250,000 1, points. So it's going to take a very long time, and I'm probably going to have to reset the thing a couple of times. But you guys will see my experience when I'm done, so see you then. Okay, so I now have the points to upgrade my Slayer Helmet. There we go, I can now upgrade it. But I'm going to update you guys just a bit before what I did in the Nightmare Zone to get these points. I was using the Tentacle Whip, as you guys saw in the last clip, or maybe two clips ago or something. Well, that was a huge mistake, because I don't know how that whip thing works. I thought what happens is, when it degrades, you just get your normal whip back and you have to put another Kraken on it, or Kraken Tentacle. That's not how it works. It actually consumes your whole whip and you get the tentacle back. So I basically just wasted like two mil or something on that. So that was kind of unlucky. And you never really want to use that in the nightmare zone. So what I did was I sold my Arim's top and bottom, which was like two mil each, and I bought full Darox instead. So I've been using full Darox to do this and I have 75 now, so it only took 25% of its charge. And I did that from like 500k points all the way to 1.2 million points. So that's how I did it and I also of course bought the overloads and then I used prayer pots because they are the absorption potions were not really that good for me at this point. I just decided to pray instead. I took too much damage with the absorption potions anyways. So I'm going to just imbue the slayer helmet. There we go. It's now done and that's huge. It took quite a while actually probably like seven hours to do. But now I have it, and I don't really have to go back here again for quite a while. I'm not planning on imbuing the Dagonoth rings in the near future. Maybe I will do that when I'm closer to 120 combat or something like that in the future. And yeah, I'm going to give you an update on my stats. I have 76 attack, and that was from using the whip on shared, and then I swapped to Darox, and I started training strength, and I am now on 73. I pretty recently hit 73 so I'm not really that close to 74. Also I got 80 constitution or hit points as it's called here in old school. I also sold my Darox straight after that and just bought a whip again. I feel like it's always worth to complete the medium clues that you get because of the ranger boot chance so let's just open this medium casket and see what we get. And that is okay I got baited. Wow that's actually a crazy medium though. 480k. Oh, I just hit 69 Slayer with 69,000 experience to 70. Hitting 70 Slayer is going to be... Ooh, a medium clue. Hitting 70 Slayer is going to be a small goal now, so I'm going to try to do that as soon as possible, but I am also planning to do some other things, like I need to level my construction, my hunter, like all these different skills that I have, like fire making, I'm six fire making. Yeah, that is pretty embarrassing. I mean, I just want to get all my stats as high as possible, so I need to level all the lower skills in the near future, but I kind of want to have a reason to do it, not just to do it. So anyways, I'm going to do this medium clue now, I guess, and I'm going to end the video with that. So the last one was 500k, which is extremely high for a medium clue, so it's going to be pretty damn hard to top that, but let's see what this is going to give us. And that is 10k. Yeah, that's pretty much what I expect from a normal uh, medium clue, not 500k. So the last one was extremely lucky. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it and we got our Slayer Helm imbued at the end of that video at least. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.